What's oh. my favorite food? It's not what's the best dish I can make. I can make a lot of dishes. Your girl, what do you, what, how do you call uh, it? Your favorite food. If we are talking about your favorite food. My favorite food. food. Uh, your favorite food. Tell that, the world. Uh, let them know what's it, my favorite uh, food. Uh, the, it's not about whether I make it or uh, not. Uh, okay. <laughs> if it's that war, if it's that war. <laughs> We're talking about Ibadan, Amala Ibadan. Abula. <laughs> Amala. Amala with Begiri. With Begiri. Hey, hey. Yeah, hey, let's get it. Okay. But you never that's make it. Of- <laughs> you never <laughs> make it yourself. I actually never make it. But that's, no, that's just a bonus question. I know question. your favorite food now. Okay. How do I like to spend my free time? Mm. What? <laughs> How do I like to spend my free time? Sleeping. Do- <laughs> watching TV with candy. <laughs> All around you, by my mama Jack and the Bushing Jile, Lunja, and the Coke, Bubwe, junk, all kinds of junk and candy. It's not like it's paining you. No, it's, not <laughs> Could me? it's not paining you. It's not like when it's me, no, no, no. me, like your no, tone. No, no. I don't like the no, no, tone. It's not paining no, no, me. no, I don't like the tone like that you're using to explain Abidi, it. Listen to me, it's not paining me. I'm just oh, so I'm just, I'm just really you like it. Information. I don't like it. That's how you like it. You didn't say it with love. <laughs> <laughs> I like me some sleep. That's mm. right. Like right after this video, I'm gonna mm. sleep. <laughs> and I like me watching some nice movies, uh-huh. nice TV. Uh-huh. <laughs> Blessings and love. It is always a great day here at Refuge oh and Fortress. My, my name is Emmanuel O, and I'm Lonnie O, and this is Philia. We want to thank you all for journeying with us thus yes. far into the month of December. And can we just be one of the first to congratulate you for Happy making new it thus month. far into this new month, Yay. the month of December. It is declared our prophetic month of Thanksgiving. Yes. And so we are in our... Um, Festive, you know, Christmas, yeah. thankful. This is like this is if we if excited. we're gonna right if we're gonna call this a series, it'll be your Feliz Navidad series. Feliz you know? your, Navidad, your, your Dirty December series. Your, your dirty what, what do you December. call that? No, not Dirty December. Boy, <laughs> like, uh, what do you call that sweater? Um, ugly sweater ugly series. Sweater yeah. series yeah. Ugly se- sweater series. <laughs> but the bottom line is we just want to hang out with y'all. Um, you know, have a good time with you and yes. close the year on a wonderful note. Wish you guys before a we happy kick holidays. it off again next year, January. So today we are talking about Things to do before the new year. Things to do before the new year. Yeah. As we bring the year to a close. Yeah. Couple as we weeks bring the away. Month, you know, a couple weeks, couple away, weeks away. Only a couple know. days now. We got. You can actually count the days yeah. to 2023. We love There are five love things. Five things you want to do before the year comes, before the new year. Yes. And we're going to talk about them today. There's going to be a lot more things to do, but we believe these five things are just going to be so important for you to get done before this year runs yeah. out, especially if you're in a relationship. Number one. The first thing you want to do is you want to reflect mm-hmm. on the year 2022. Yes, ma'am. So now we're getting closer to 2023. We want to look back. Yes, ma'am. Look back at what 2022 was like. Uh-huh. Look back at the resolutions that we came up with in January. Mm-hmm. You know, reflect and see what did we what did we plan on doing? Did we do them? Did mm-hmm. we hit our goals? Mm-hmm. You know, did we achieve the things we wanted to achieve mm-hmm. in 2022? Mm-hmm. How was it? Was it successful? Mm-hmm. Do we have to try again? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to reflect and just review those um this year from January to date and yeah. just look at, you know what? I had to do this. Yeah. This is how far I got or I was able to complete it mm-hmm. or you know what? I didn't even get to do it mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. You know, just reflect on yeah. that on this year and absolutely. your resolution and you know just kind of think about they're, they're, how things went. Yeah, absolutely. And two things I would say about that is number one, if you got to you got to first of all, you got to take a very intentional reflection yeah. of the year. January, February, March, April, May. Yeah. Like literally look at it, right? And part of that reflection, I would say, is count your blessings, right? Mm. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Absolutely. And that song says, it will surprise you what, what the, the Lord, Lord has, has done. done. Yeah. If you reflect, you look at your situation, you count your blessings. You're like, You wow. actually itemize them and say, mm-hmm. wow, God has been really good. Yeah. I mean, God has been really, really good. And it's like if you were trading, for example, right? You have some ups, you have some downs, you have some... You know, some losses, some wins. Yeah. But then when you look at the, the whole, full picture. the overall, the full picture, you realize you 
we've had mostly wins yeah. than losses. And so for that, we can just be grateful to grateful, God and just thank yes, him, right? Absolutely. The second point about that is that if you if there were things you said, some some resolutions that you had that you didn't hit, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. Right? We can roll them over into next year. Yes. But we just have to make sure we get them done, right? Mm -hmm. We never give up on our goals. We never give up on the things we want to do. We can give, we can give ourselves grace, period, yeah. right? But we can we must always ensure that we hit our goals, right? So you always want to reflect over your life. You always want to take a very intentional yeah. reflection over the years and just see what God has done yeah. for you. And, and it's important reflecting because then you're able to prepare for the future yes. with that reflection. Yes. You know, like you said, you're thankful, you're grateful, you see the wins mm -hmm. more than the lo the losses. Mm -hmm. I remember we were talking the other day and we're like, you know, we actually completely forgot. But like in January, mm -hmm. we had like a really bad accident. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm reflecting on it it's like oh my goodness mm -hmm. we're in december now mm -hmm. that could have been a totally different story but yes. it's like we even forgot mm -hmm. like it was it skipped our mind that's how good god is mm -hmm. there's so many things that's happened after that that we're even more grateful for mm -hmm. to the point that we're not even remembering the the the, the down the times, so times you know exactly. so it's very good to reflect because mm -hmm. it puts you in a perspective of you know what i'm grateful i'm thankful yeah. and then you can even plan better for the future and finally on that point for those of us who are king Kingdom people, kingdom men and women, most of the time your churches would have, um, your church or whatever ministry you're connected to would have yearly um, prophetic declaration. And they would say, this is our year of, right. our month of, you know. Yeah. Last, um, this year, I'm already in 2023, if you can tell. <laughs> this year, 2022, for us in Refuge and Fortress Network was our year of oh, establishment. Yes. Our year of establishment. And, you know, for the, for the, like the first half of the year, it was looking like, it wasn't going to come to pass, right? Yeah. But then we moved over into the Cross, second half. Right and we, when we crossed into the into second half. Into the second half. half. Right when we crossed into the second half oh, and we just caught that word that it says, yeah. you know, um, um, though it may tarry, you know, your latter days shall be better than your former, former days. days. And we were like, oh, oh. And, yeah. and God was just moving in ways that we could not even imagine. Yeah. And we come to December this time so and God we're like, be the glory. God be the glory. God be the he glory. He really did establish us. Right? So God has been really good. So what I'm saying is hold on to those words, yes. those prophetic declarations as they're being released. Yes. Hold on to them and you watch God manifest them yes. in your life, Absolutely. right? And then reflect and say, well, they said this year was going to be my year of manifestation, my yeah. year of establishment establishment have i been established this year has god really done this thing and if he has give him give him all, all the glory, the glory. Yeah. give him all the glory all yeah. the praise and all the adoration all right number two is check your heart <laughs> check. that's how your heart that's how your heart <laughs> that's, not, that's not the way my heart is your heart sound? <laughs> How does this sound now? I'm not falling for that trap. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that trap. <laughs> Check, Check your, your heart. heart. Yes. Check your heart. Meaning, forgive and forget. Yes. There's so many things that... It may be hard to forget. It may be hard to forget. But you can at least and, forgive. And, you know, sometimes maybe it's okay not to forget, right? There's some things you want to hold on to and just, you know, okay. So that, may, that way you're not in that situation again. again. Right. But... It's forgiving is the most important part. It's yeah. not for the other person. It's for you, mm -hmm. you know? And the reason why this is so, so important is because throughout this year, 2022, there was a lot of things going on this yeah. year. Yeah. So many things has happened and you just sit down and reflect and you're like, is it really worth it? Mm. Is it really worth holding that grudge? Mm. Is it really worth being upset with this person or that person mm. or this, this and that and mm. over this and over that? Is it even worth worrying over this thing? You know, yeah. check your heart. Whatever it is you're holding on to that is that is is harboring something that it shouldn't. Mm. Now that we're about to cross over into a new, a year, new year, let it go. Yeah. Let yeah. it go. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. And, you and know? can I just bring that back to the relationships? Some people's relationship ended this year. Yeah. Right. Some people started a new relationship and it's not just a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship, friendship. a partnership, yeah. whatever the case may be. Right. And sometimes those separations may not be the most beautiful uh, or, you know, amicable separation. Amicable, yes. So but we can't hold on to them for too mm -hmm. long. Right. It, it, it blocks blessings. Yeah. Right. So we want to just check our hearts. If there's anyone or anything that we need to let go, go 
let's let it go with this year as this year is going by let those things go by with this year yeah. um let's move on and let god be god in our lives right let's yeah. check our hearts and go into the new year with a clean heart and a clear mind and it's so important i just want to just buttress on this point a little bit more it's so important crossing over into 2023 having that clear mind that peace of mind i don't think people need to understand the importance of start starting off something the right way mm -hmm. a new chapter mm -hmm. a new year whatever the case may be mm -hmm. because when you hold on to these things the person you're holding on this grudge or this issue with or whatever probably even forgot about it yeah, they, they moved probably on moved on with their lives yeah. but it still it still hits you up it still mm -hmm. bothers you and now you're the one stressing over it yeah. you're the one upset yeah. and it's like for what mm -hmm. what is the point yeah you know so it's very important to just let go let, let go. go and let God. let God. And then number three is I want to bring it back to relationships now. Yeah. I want to bring back to friendships. I want to bring back to marriages, right? Yeah. Reflect on the goals that you set this year. Mm. Did you hit those goals? Mm. Did you achieve what you said you yeah. were going to achieve? Yeah. Right? Together, together yeah. as a couple, as a friend, as friends, as yeah. As married people, as people who are courting, as people who are dating, did you achieve the goals that you said you were going to achieve, right? Yeah. And if you did, did you celebrate those goals, no matter how small they, they were, are, right? Yeah. And if you didn't, this year being a year, uh, uh, this month being a month of Thanksgiving and celebration, I want to give you the permission. That's right. Permission. That's right. <laughs> permission it's both. to celebrate. Everybody already loud and clear. Me, I, I got some things to celebrate. <laughs> that would do. <laughs> I got some things to celebrate. <laughs> Woo, boy. You know, but more, more importantly, too, in your reflection in the relationship, were there things that you learned about your significant yes, other about that yourself. you didn't know last year mm -hmm. or about yourself, right? I say it all the time. I say, you know, I'm, I'm writing a book. Or I'm working on it. We're both working on a book right now. And in that book, right, one of the things we're going to be talking about is, did you, um, are the things that, that causes, that changes people, mm -hmm. right? The things that changes people at yeah. the core, yeah. right? Sometimes, and you need to know these things, right? Because at the core, somebody could lose their parents. Somebody could lose a child. Yeah. And that could change their, their entire, entire orientation, yeah. right? They could become a completely different person than you know before. Mm -hmm. So did something happen this year that changed the person that you're with, mm -hmm. whether for the good or the or, or not, not so, so good, good, right? We need to reflect on this thing and be able to point, pinpoint and say, hey, yeah. it was when this happened that he changed or right. that she changed. And if it's a good thing, it's like, oh, I think it's when I started doing this that mm -hmm. she just became, mm -hmm. you know, a sunshine and she was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I think it's when I started doing this that he was more receptive of me. He was mm -hmm. this, he was that. So maybe I should do more of that, right? Or when we, whatever, the, like, did you learn something new about yourself individually, but also about your relationship as, as a whole, as a whole as a, yeah. collectively together, right? Mm -hmm. So that if the good things, we can repeat them again next year. Yeah. The not so good things, we can end them this year and make a conscious decision to say, look, babe, next year, I'm going to be better. Yeah. Next year, we're going to be better. We're going to ensure we don't do this anymore. And I want to also extend this over to friendships. I want to extend this over to partnership, right? Because philia is all about relationships. Mm -hmm. It's all about friendship Different kinds that of leads to fellowship, yeah. that leads to partnership. partnership. Partnership with one another and partnership with the Holy Spirit as yeah. well, right? But there's always some kind of togetherness going on, mm -hmm. whether it's romantic relationship, friendship, marriage, whatever, you know, partnership, yeah. whatever the case may be, right? Reflect on those things. Look at what you learned and let's find ways to be better at what we do. All right. And the fourth, th the fourth thing you want to do for the new year is review your future plans with your partner. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. When you're planning future and you're preparing for the new year, it's especially in a relationship, right? Because that's why we're here. You want to make sure that it's not just an individual thing. You want to make sure that for your relationship, you're actually planning together. Now, remember, we talk kingdom relationships, talking about relationships that have a future, that have yeah. plans Purpose. of being together, purposeful relationships. relationships so yeah. you shouldn't plan a future without just without your significant other yeah. in it. Yeah. And sure, you are in the plans for the future. That's yeah. important. Yeah, you just want to make sure that when, when they see the future, You're they in see it. you in that future. Yeah. You know, uh, and and I know a lot of people are dating right now. They're they're in the courting uh, um, stage right now, 
there are things going on in our lives, you know, new jobs, new careers, different things. You got to move to a different state, a different country or whatever the case may be. As you're reflecting and you're reviewing your goals for next year, ask yourself, I see how this is going to benefit me. Yeah. But how does it benefit the person I'm with? Absolutely. Right. And if you don't see how it's going to benefit them, yeah, gotta, what are we doing? I got to have a different conversation. Right. What are we doing to kind of <laughs> see how, how it works and everything yeah. like that? But another yeah. thing that I want to talk about on that level is, look, this is the year to also let go of what's not working in the aspect of relationships. Relationships, yeah. If you're in a relationship where you feel like you're forcing it, where you feel like it's not going anywhere. In fact, you've prayed about it and God has maybe possibly revealed to you that this is not the person. Or you, for whatever reason, just feel like you love them, you like them, you like some things about them. They're not the best, but you like this thing about them. And you're hoping, hoping that they will change. And perhaps you've been with them for a long, for a long time, time and they haven't changed. Marriage doesn't change anything. No. It only enhances, it enhances what's already there. It enhances the relationship. If the person is an abusive person, they will become even more abusive in a relationship. In a, in a marriage. marriage yep. If the person is a lazy person, they become even more lazy in a marriage. If, mm -hmm. they're, if they're a good person, they become even better in a marriage, yeah. right? Marriage enhances whatever you see right now in a relationship. And that's yeah. why courting is good. So you get to know this person, this person. in all four seasons. But my, my challenge to you is before 2023 comes through, please let go of some baggages. Whatever baggage you can identify as a baggage, let, let it, it go. go. Yep. Let it go. It's not going to help you. Yep. You know, for us, 2023 is the declared, prophetically declared our year of divine rising. rising. Our year of divine rising. And when you're trying to rise, can't carry you the can't baggage carry with you. baggages with you. Mm -hmm. Extra luggages that's just going to weigh you down, they're not going to help you rise, right? Yeah. So don't be in the way of God. Don't obstruct what God is trying to do in your life yeah. um, by helping you rise in this new year that we're going into by holding on to what he wants you to let go of. Mm -hmm. Let go of unfruitful yes. relationships. Unfruitful relationship. Un fruitful relationship and you know it's unfruitful if they're not helping you get closer to god yeah if they're not helping you become a better version better of yourself person, yeah. if they're not helping you hit your goals mm -hmm. if they if they're just not making you worse right, making if they're you making you worse if they're not if they're not helping you become a better, better person, person let it go you, you gotta let it go even if they're gonna eventually come around and become they will say oh i've changed you know i i hear what you used to say now i'm a better person i've reflected if you're available and your heart wants to uh, you know uh, make it happen sure no problem yeah but for this right now right now right now right now right now for where you're trying to go yeah let some it go. people gotta be cut off yeah. you know so let go of what's not working and yeah. let god be god whatever he wants you to let go of let, let it, it go. go that's right mm -hmm. And for my couples, married, not married, in a relationship that are working towards something, please, please, please plan together. Everything, like we, we sit down and we talk a lot about it. We, we talk a lot. We talk a lot. <laughs> we sit down and we talk about a lot of things and we reflect back at so many things that we've done and not done and all that kind of things. And we realize that for quite some time way before we even got married we've mm. been planning our future together yeah. because we knew where we were going we already saw the end before we even started so to say you know and we knew god's hand was in it so we've started putting things in place so where we are today is not by mistake we've been planning by the special help of god and by the praying special grace of god praying and planning and putting things in place to get to where we are today and five years from now we're still doing the same thing planning yeah. for the future ahead praying Plan planning. together. Plan for your family. Yep. Sit together. What do you see in the next five years, in the next year, in the next two years? Put plans in place for how you can be better as a family, as a couple, and move forward together. Um, especially if you see that this is going that the distance. This is this is going further than now. You mm -hmm. know, yep. you don't want to plan by yourself, and this person plan by themselves, and then you get to the point, and it's like. What do we do? Yeah. It's like time just yeah. wasted for no yeah. reason, you know. Yeah. So it's very important. Please, please, please yeah. plan together. And, and, and the last point that I would add to that is when you plan, 
you're making life happen, life is not happening to you, mm-hmm. right? You are doing life. Doing life is life. not doing you, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and I want to encourage um, married couples, people with kids, I should say parents, parents, not just married couples, people with kids, right? No matter how young your children are, right? I kind of want to encourage us mm-hmm. to bring our kids into that right. process, yeah. right? That process of planning for the future. Let them see what it's like, right? Let them see what it's like. Involve them. Let them tell you what they want to achieve in a, in a year from now yeah. or a month from now or six months from now. What would you like to achieve, young man? What would you like to do, young lady? Like, you know, let them be part, part of their of the process, process. Mm-hmm. and see how manifestation works in yeah. a way, right? Yeah. We've said something. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established, right? Yeah. So you decree it. Say, hey, a year from now, we're going to do this. Next year, we're going to do that. And then next year comes and we actually do those things. Your kids see dad said we were going to do this and dad actually really did it, right? Yeah. It makes it, it puts them in a different kind of mind frame yeah. and say, hey, if I say this thing it's and gonna, I believe, yeah, it it's will gonna come happen. to pass. Yeah. The Bible says Absolutely. it. Oh my God, it works, Absolutely. right? So yeah. bring them, they, they're never too young to be brought into that process. So I would definitely yeah. encourage for us to do that. And finally, finally, yes, number five, this one you can't do without. Oh yeah. I don't care who you are. This covers everything. I don't care who you are. You need to involve God mm. in all things. All things. It says, for with man, this thing is impossible. Mm. But with God, all. with God, all there's things. a partnership yes. going on there. Yes. With God, with God. Mm-hmm. all things are possible. Are possible. In yes. other words, everything we've talked about from point one, two, three, four, with God it's is possible. possible. Absolutely. All things are possible with God. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. for those who believe. And so I just want to put that in our heart, in our mind, in our spirit, that enlisting the help of the Holy Spirit is mm-hmm. going to be one of the best decisions you're going to make in this yes. year, 2023. We reconcile with God. Partnership with the Holy Spirit. Reconciliation with the Holy Spirit if you're if you if you've pulled away. Pulled away. And and listen, the help of the Holy Spirit in all that we do. Yeah. We're going to be able to achieve so much more when we help, when we enlist the help of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, abundantly above all, all that we can think yes. or ask for. If you have not done this, mm, mm. do not end this year doing the same thing you were doing before. Mm? If you have not done this, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Ah, don't end 2022 the way other people do it. Too. Don't end it the way other people do it. Too. End important. it well. End it very, very well. Do something you have not done before and hit right. the subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell. And turn on the notification right? bell. Do something you've never do done before. Do something you never done before. Do it. <laughs> subscribe to this channel and may the Lord bless you. <laughs> and share with your families and friends. Do something you've never done before. Oh, man. So. I hope we've shared a tape or two to help solidify your kingdom union. Today, do not forget to like, to share, to subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, be the light. Be the salt. And remember, all, all things, things are, are possible, possible if, if you, you believe. believe.